not easy being me We'll wash your face and brush your hair We'll nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm horrid Henry So down with school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm horrid Henry Na, 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 na The purple hand gang rules, okay Well, it's so easy I did it last year. Are you sure? Oh, do you think I would ever forget? Tomorrow is take your kid to work day. Neither of them want to take a worm like you. Mum, Henry says that you and Dad don't want to take me to work. Don't be horrid, Henry. And take these into the kitchen and leave your poor brother alone. about take your kid to work day is you get a day off school. The worst thing is that mum and dad have really boring jobs. Why couldn't mum be a famous scientist? this mess, Henry. You're coming to work with me tomorrow and I want you to be on your best behaviour. Great! Can I play computer games and surf the net and play computer games? Henry, I work for Tingly Toothbrushes. We sell toothbrushes and toothpaste. You'll be filing and photocopying. No way! And if you're lucky, you might get to pack toothpaste tubes into boxes. Not me! I'm not going! Of course you're going. It'll do you good to see what it's like to work. No! I don't want to go to work! I think Dad's really going to like having me going to work with him. Loads better than having stinky Peter. Really, really fine. Henry, not that one! Oh. This is not a good start, Henry. Nowhere near good. You've already been horrid and we're not even at my desk yet. But Dad, we're being cut out by firefighters! This is great! An office is a place where people come to work, not to muck about. I want perfect behaviour. My boss is very strict, so don't let me down, eh? Dad, you can count on me. Oh! Ow! You're late. Bad start. Bob knows best and late people aren't great people. Sorry, Bob, sir. I, um, hit the alarm button by accident. Dad just told a fib. Hmm. This is just like school. Henry, this is Bob, my boss. And you have to do everything he tells you. And this is Bill, his son. And you have to do what I say too. Welcome to my brush and paste empire, young Henry. We aim to have a foaming brush in every mouth in the land. So, take this day by the scruff of the neck, little laddie. Listen and learn. And one day you too could take orders from me. I'll try my best, sir, Bob, sir. Uh, I promise to listen and learn. I like you, young Henry. I wish more young men wanted to be like me. Tell you what, you can be my son's partner for the day. I expect my boy Bill to take toothpaste into the future. Watch him like a hawk, Henry. My boy is the future. You heard Bob, Sir Henry. Do everything he says and everything Bill says. Yes, sir, Bob, sir. Meeting in the boardroom in five. All hands on deck. First task, boys, make the tea, serve the tea. And remember, I could be watching you. Remember, Henry, do everything they say. Oh, we have.
have to make all these? Are you kidding? I got better things to do than listen to Dad give orders. Great! What will we do instead? You don't get it, do you? You make the tea, I watch you. No way! If you don't do what I say, my dad will fire your dad. So get making Bucky Brain. Good. Now I order you to put this stuff in the tea. Remember, do everything he says. Well, if that's an order. Well done. Lovely tea, Bill. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, Henry. <coughs> this tea's been tampered with. Who did this? It was Henry, Dad. I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. But he told me to! And you said I had to do everything he told me to do! No excuses! You should keep your son under more control! You need to learn what hard work is, Henry. I want you both down in the packing department now! I'll get you for this, snot brain! No, you won't, because my dad is a boss and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> You'd better help, or I'll quit! Dead or not, you'll get into trouble again, and you're not working fast enough. Ah, look at that. Dad hates to waste toothpaste more than anything. He's gonna be really angry. Gotcha! Ah! <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. I tried to stop him, Dad, but he won't listen to me. <gasps> this is disgraceful behaviour, Henry. Totally unacceptable. If I was your real boss, you'd be sacked. I am so ashamed of you. He's trouble, Dad. I'm not the sort of person I would employ when I take over this company. I know, son. But you have to understand, some children don't have your quality upbringing. I will give you one last chance, Henry. Son, take Henry to the photocopier and show him how to copy these documents for me. And Henry... I know, Bob, sir. I have to watch Bill and learn. This snotty, snivelling snot needs to be caught doing something really, really bad. Why don't we copy something horrid and then hang the pictures all over the office? Like what? <laughs> it's a bit rude. Great idea! Me first! No, me first! I'm the boss and the boss always goes first. Of course. You know best, Bill, sir. Yes! We must convince the nation and then the entire world that a day without toothpaste is like... <laughs> uh, did I say something funny? <clears throat> no, Bob, sir. We would never laugh at you. What? One, bottom two, bottom three, bottom <laughs> four. I don't know why he's saying that, Bob, sir. I'm afraid I told him not to, Bob, sir, but he just wouldn't listen to me, Bob, sir. Uh, sir. How dare you? You've made me a laughing stock in front of my entire company. You're not the son I thought you were. Go home. I'll deal with you later. But, Dad... No, but... I think we've had enough of those.
Obviously, I was a little hasty in blaming your son. Boys will be boys, Bob, no matter the quality of their upbringing. Well, young Henry, I think for the rest of the day you can, um, amuse yourself. Yes, sir, uh, Bob, sir. Oh, right! <laughs> Disrupted the class. What do you have to say for yourself? Wasn't me. Get in the house, Henry. You were late. Out of my way, worm. Henry, where do you think you're going? To my room for the rest of my life. No, you can't go to your room. Huh? Why not? Because we're going out to dinner at a fancy grown up restaurant. Fancy restaurant? Not me! I've been bad! I should be sent to my room! Not tonight. You're going to have a bath and change your clothes. A bath? Now? No! <coughs> we could get a babysitter. No! We're going out as a family. <coughs> He's got the car keys again. Henry, I'm coming in there. <laughs> Henry, no, not the toilet. He wouldn't, would he? <sighs> you didn't see that, Peter. Right, let's go. I can't wait. A chance to try new things! I love food. Well, um, all except beetroot. I love food too. Well, all except squid. Oh, and Dad doesn't like tomatoes. Well, I don't like anything except whoopa whoopy burgers. I'm not going! That's that! All right, Henry. Here's the deal. You come along, behave yourself, and eat everything on your plate, and I'll give you two pounds. Pounds? Just for shoving a few mouthfuls of disgusting food in my mouth. Normally I have to do that for free. How about three pounds? Don't push it, Henry. OK, deal. What's my reward for being good? Goodness is its own reward, Peter darling. Huh? It's very nice of Aunt Ruby to invite us to dinner at Restaurant La Poche. It won't be as good as Whopper Whoopi. They have real food. And your cousin Steve will be there too, boys. Oh, no! Not stuck up Steve! Steve's my favourite cousin. Where shall I park? We park, sir, unless you happen to be the chauffeur. Darlings! Aunt Ruby! 
New car, Ruby? Oh, I'm not sure, darling. All our limos look the same to me. <laughs> what make is your car, Henry? Rust Bucket 2000? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Out of ice! I didn't think you'd be coming, Henry. I'm getting two pounds for eating everything on my plate. And I'm not getting anything because goodness is its own reward. Huh? Be, be quiet, quiet, worm! I thought this place was called La Push. It don't seem very push to me. Shh! You're shouting. Don't tell me I'm shouting, Bodica Battlex. I'll tell you if I'm shouting. Shh, mother. Wow, I didn't think teachers had mothers. So, what's everyone having? I recommend <coughs> Le de Cochon avec les yeux du mouton. Oh, don't they know any English? It's a French restaurant, stupid. You order for me, Aunt Ruby. I eat everything. Yes, perhaps Aunt Ruby should order for all of us. Excellent idea. No way! I've got to eat everything on my plate, so I'm ordering for myself. Which one is the hamburger and chips? That would be on the lunch menu, monsieur, and we do not open for lunch. I dare you to order escargot as an appetizer. <laughs> escargot? What's that? Snails. <laughs> yeah, right. Like they're gonna serve snails in a fancy restaurant. And then tripe for your main course. That's sheep's intestines. But if you're chicken... Don't call me chicken. <laughs> I'll have escargot and tripe. Hmm, our speciality. Very good, monsieur. Et voilà! Oh, gross! Let's see you eat that! <laughs> two pounds, Henry, two pounds. Slurping. Yes, mother. And eat your vegetables. Yes, mother. Uh, Henry. Good evening, Miss Badlux. I hope you have a scrumptious meal. My, what nice manners. He didn't learn those in your class, I'm sure. The sauce poche is too hot and spicy for the English tummy. Perhaps Monsieur is uh, lust. No, no. Uh, my, my cousin forgot to ask for some le sauce poche on his food. I was going to tell the cook. You have told me. I will inform the chef. Good. My cousin really likes spicy food. At least five drops. Yes. Close your mouth, Bodica. I swear I can see right down your gullet. <laughs> Mother! Excuse me, young man. I hope my daughter is teaching you properly. Mother! Oh, yes, Mom. She does. Good boy. Oh, that lovely boy. He's so sweet. But, Mother, he's the most horrid boy in my class. And whose fault is that? Finally, our dinner is here. Oh, look, squid. I don't like squid. And I don't like tomatoes. And I don't like beetroots. Oh, Aunt Ruby, you ordered their favourites. Oh, it's so nice to be appreciated. I'm sure you will all enjoy every mouthful. And for Monsieur, the speciality of the house, tribe. 
I wouldn't eat that, not even for two pounds. <laughs> Once you've eaten a snail, you can eat anything. This is real food! Ah, uh, yes. How's your extra hot sauce, Steve? Your son has caused a great disruption. Well, I'm certainly not staying where I'm not wanted. Neither am I. Bye-bye, Beetroot. But you said I have to finish everything on my plate. Here's your two pounds, Henry. Now, let's go and find some real food. Well done, young man. So polite. Not like your young friend. <laughs> Whoopee! Here we come! <laughs> 